Hey guys, welcome back to math class. Today we're going to look at how to take coordinates that we're given and make those into tables and graphs to kind of tie all these past lessons together. So let's start with some coordinates. If you have the coordinates 1, 1, and 2, negative 4. Now if we wanted to make these into a table, I wanted to make a table. And the idea of this lesson is just to give you tools to choose what's comfortable for you. If you like looking at tables, if tables make sense to you, then when you see coordinates, make a table. When you see graphs, make a table. If a picture is what works best for you, I love pictures. So I would make graphs. In fact, I still do. Every time I see coordinates, I think graphs. So if I wanted to make a table, your X's go on top and your Y's go on bottom, and you just want to match up your coordinates together. So if X is 1, how much was Y? 1, because it's 1, 1. What about if X was 2? How much would Y be if X was 2? Negative 4 because it said so right here. So you're just taking your coordinates and building that table like that. And then once you see the patterns like this, it might be easier for you to see, oh, okay, so if X was three, this went down by one minus what was negative four? It was minus five. So negative four minus five would be negative nine. And so as you do this, you see these patterns building, okay? So that's how you make it into a table. You don't have to extend it, but sometimes it's helpful to see that. All right, so now let's make a graph. Again, your graphs do not have to be pretty. Mine usually aren't great. So if I wanted to graph, to make a line, all you need are two dots. You just need two coordinates and then you connect them. So if I've got a graph, I need to graph the point 1, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. I'm just going to put 4 on each side. 1, 2, 3, 4. All right, so 1, 1 is right here. I start at the origin, and I'm going to go positive 1, X, positive 1, Y, right there. What about 2, negative 4? The x coordinate here tells me to do what? I'm going to go right 2, 1, 2. The y coordinate tells me to do what? I'm going to go down 4. So if I go right 2 and down 1, 2, 3, 4, here's my next dot. And I'm going to connect these two dots. It's a steep line. Ooh, I missed. Sure. You get the idea. Oh, this is a the line. But it works, and you would be able to find it if it's multiple choice. Let's try another one. Get rid of my ugly graph. Get rid of my ugly graph. Okay. If you had the coordinates, 1, 3, and 2, 10. Let's make a table first. So I've got x and y. What's my first x? 1. What's the y that goes with that x? 3. What about my second x? 2. And how much is y when x is 2? It's 10, because it's right here, 2, 10. Now, if I wanted to graph this, these two dots, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I don't need negatives, but 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah! Because I have ten over here. So the first one, one, three. How do I get to one, three from the origin? I'm going to go right one and up three. What about two, ten? Where do I go? Right two and up to this 10 up here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 2, 10 right there. So I'm going to connect these two dots. I don't know if it goes to the origin. I feel like I bent my line. Okay, so that's how you go from coordinates to tables to graphs. And now we've covered all the pieces. All right, you guys, have fun practicing. Later.